In the focus of the program within the process is detailed process of production from the idea to final result under the brand made in Kazakhstan. The program shows us an amazing world of projects, technologies and industrial developments. First little pig built a house out of straw, the second little pig out of wood and sticks, and the third little pig out of bricks and clay. Of course, the houses made of straw and wood could not compete with a house made of bricks. But can you imagine how much time it took the third little pig to build such a house? The time it takes to bring all the bricks, mix the clay, and then wait until the walls dry out and become sturdy. But I know how to build a sturdy and warm house quickly. We have to use modern materials such as sandwich panels. But what are they? We visited the plant that produces these panels and now are ready to tell you all the secrets of their production. Hello, you are watching The Process, a program in which we tell you in detail about how it works. The lenses of our cameras are focused on the process of the production of sandwich panels. Sandwich panels got their name because of their structure. It is a three-layer panel. Just like in a sandwich, between two sheets of steel, there is a heat-insulating layer. Sandwich panels have become widely used relatively recently. They're classified as insulating material. Thus, they cannot be part of partition walls. Nevertheless, for lighter one-story constructions or buildings with a metal frame, they are ideal. This material, in terms of heat and sound insulation, can act as a perfect substitute for bricks and concrete. And thanks to the ease in construction, it has a number of advantages over traditional construction materials. Aside from this, construction of structures with the use of these panels is much more cost efficient. That is why today, trade centers, stadiums, industrial plants and warehouses are more and more often built with the use of sandwich panels. Various types of heat insulators are used in sandwich panels, but most producers give preference to the mineral cotton plate based on winestone. Unlike other insulating materials, it is non-flammable. This is a very important property for construction materials. Since there is always a risk of a fire, and non-flammable materials help ensure safety. Mineral cotton plates, first of all, have to be checked for compliance with quality standards. Specialists of the technical control department measure the thickness and weight of a couple of plates from each batch. Steel for the casting of the sandwich panels is zinc coated and covered with a polymer layer. Thanks to this, the steel sheet will be long lasting and resistant to corrosion. Since the polymer layer can be of any color, sandwich panels can also be made of any color. The first stage of production is preparation of raw materials. Rolls of steel with the use of a crane are set up on a special decoiling rollers. Mineral cotton is not laid out on the panel as a whole, but is preliminary cut. That is why it is cut out into smaller pieces before being delivered to the conveyor. The insulating material is cut according to the necessary thickness. This is necessary in order to fully fill the canvas of the sandwich panels. Since the panel has three layers, two sheets of steel are used. The upper layer of steel is the external layer and the lower one internal. The edge of the steel roll is inserted into the rolling mill. The 
profiling process begins in the rolling mill, the sheet of steel passes between the rolls and is bent. The internal layer is profiled in a similar way for all types of panels, but the external layer can differ. This depends on the purpose of the panels as well as on the design, just like the color. Next is the stage when the mineral cotton plate is delivered to the production line. It has already been cut in accordance with the necessary thickness of the sandwich panel. Lumps of wood are moved along the conveyor belt, turned to the side and arranged tightly next to one another. One very important detail, the pre-cut mineral cotton plates are arranged in a chessboard manner. Thanks to this, there won't be any vacuous space between them, ensuring that the final panels insulate heat well and are durable. The next stage, the gluing of all the layers of the sandwich panels. A two-component polymer glue is applied to the steel sheet. With special distributing boards, it is evenly distributed along the surface of the sheet. Then the upper and lower sheets are attached to the canvas of the heat insulator, and the future panel is hard-pressed. In the gluing room, a constant temperature of around 30 degrees Celsius is maintained. This is necessary for keeping an environment conducive to the gluing process. After the press, the panel is sent to the station where it is cut. The cutting of panels is automated in accordance with the preset parameters. However, a specialist supervises the operation. After the completion of the production process comes the quality control stage. The quality control department must ensure that the final product complies with the required standards. The main parameters such as length, width and thickness of the panel are measured. The set of sandwich panels is like a construction set. Aside from the panels, there are also additional parts. For example, steel gauge edges. The plant, they're also made out of the same steel sheets. These edges cover the adjoining parts between the panels and give them a more pleasant look. The final sandwich panels are arranged into stacks around one meters high, marked and sent for packaging. The plant has a packaging machine which covers the panels into a polyethylene covering. Thus, they are fixated and protected from potential damage. Now all that's left is to load up and send the batch of sandwich panels to the construction site. Here the panels are attached to the metal frame with screws. The edges are attached to each other with a clutch. The joining points are covered by steel edges. Construction of a building with the use of sandwich panels can be done at any time of the year, regardless of humidity or temperature levels. Well, that's it. Sandwich panels are ready and already being used in the construction of new buildings. They are of great quality and easy to use. What's more, construction with the use of sandwich panels can be portable. Such mobile block structures are always in demand since every construction site has containers for workers, which after the completion of construction works need to be removed. All one has to do is remove the screws, take it apart and move everything to a new construction site that requires this container. Now even I would like to get engaged in this construction process. Perhaps I'll build a small country house for myself. You are watching The Process, a program in which we tell you in detail about how it works and thereby shift your perspective on things that surround us daily. My name is Nazar Mohamed Jan. Until next time on The Process.